Yes, that layer. Anthony Sequeira and myself created an exam walkthrough for 100-101 available at CBT Nuggets. And what I wanted to do is take just a few moments and give you a sneak peek into some of that content. Let's begin. Well, our first task, of course, is to read the question. And it says this, the PC, which is right there, has sent an FTP connection request over to the server. Okay, fantastic. The server is right there. And we have this as our network path between the two. Okie doke. Which devices in the network operate only at the physical layer, and it says only, that jumps out at me, of the OSI reference model? Okay, so from the OSI reference model perspective, we've got the physical layer. And then we have the data link. And then we have the network. And then the transport. And then everything else above there, including session, presentation, and application. So the physical layer is layer one, and data link layer is two, and network is three. And we're supposed to choose two that only operate at the physical layer or below. So at the physical layer, we're going to have hubs and repeaters. And hubs and repeaters do not understand anything about layer two addresses, and that's why they're considered to be layer one devices. At data link layer, we're going to have switches, because switches make forwarding decisions based on layer two addresses, MAC addresses. And at the network layer, we're primarily going to have routers, which make forwarding decisions based on layer three addresses. So great, if we look at our choices, we have ethernet cabling. <laughs> And you know what? Ethernet cabling is definitely at the physical layer. It has no knowledge of layer two or higher. So I'm going to say that's a strong probability. And let's take a look at our other options. The PC network interface card. So this PC network interface card. Now at first glance, I'm thinking, OK, the PC network interface card, it's got a physical connector. So it sounds like it might be a physical layer device, but it also has layer two addresses burned into that network adapter. So for that reason, because the network interface card does have layer two addressing, it is considered to be up here, at least in the protocol stack. It's not a physical layer only device. So I'm gonna rule out answer B as not a correct answer. Hub A, absolutely. It's a layer one device as we just looked at right there. So I'm gonna check on that. And we've got two answers. Fantastic. Let's read the rest just to make sure. Bridge one. And a bridge is very much like a transparent switch, making forwarding decisions based on layer two addresses. So that's not what we're looking for. A router, router two, makes decisions at layer three. That's not what we're looking for. And switch three, very much like the bridge, making forwarding decisions at layer two. So the only two choices that are correct here are the ethernet cabling at layer one and the hub, also operating at layer one as its highest layer in the OSI protocol stack. It's been my pleasure to share with you a little sneak peek of some of our content in our exam walkthrough course at CBT Nuggets. I appreciate you joining me. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.